Hello, this is CJ from CJ Fix It. I uh, had an unlikely, unlikely uh, situation with this uh, Hair Cub Cadet. I didn't think it was possible. And, uh, you know, it kind of seems to amaze me a little bit on what happened. So I was just mowing. In fact, it happened right outside this shed. Um, and luckily it happened right here, but uh, I had to get it up off the ground so I could get underneath it. But it stopped moving. It wouldn't move no more under its own power. And of course, kind of irritates me because I've taken some very good care of this machine ever since brand new and uh, well I'll show you what what happened here in a second uh, yeah it's a uh, XT1 Enduro series LT 42 inch signature cut uh, cup cadet of course uh, we got this in, I think, 2015, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, it's got a, a cooler engine in it, a, uh, let's see, yep, cooler, Courage 18 horse, uh, and that's not our issue, it runs fine find the issue we got to get down low oh, okay and look up on this here this uh, belt right here is fine this is your belt for the uh, for the blades the belt for the transmission however <clears throat> is up here and if you look closely, there's no belt in the groove. However, there is a belt back here. Uh, yeah, right there. So what I can tell is that belt slipped the uh, pulley and not getting power to the transmission. Well... Looks like we're going to have to take off this uh, pulley here, drop it, and then put the belt back on it. And uh, hopefully that fixed the issue. Um, I really didn't plan on this today. I didn't plan on any of this at all, actually. But uh, hopefully it's going to be an all right quick easy job and that I don't have to uh, pull the engine just to get to it because I'll be really really pissed off if I have to do that <laughs> but anyhow uh, we'll get this pulley off here in a minute uh, I'll bring you back when I've got the tools and all that and uh, of course I'm going to take this uh, cross brace here off get it out of the way so that we can do that I might not even be able to given that this is holding the uh, the mower deck and sorry about the sunlight uh, the light causing glare but anyhow that's what we're up to right now I'll bring you back okay this might not work but I've got my impact. This might not be powerful enough. But let me get down here. Oh. And hopefully my head's not in the way or anything. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Not happening. Okay. 
I got something for you then. I'll be right back again with something more powerful. Of course, I gotta bring out a hose to be able to do that, but we'll do her. Be, uh, I'll be right back and uh, maybe we'll change up position a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, we'll leave it right there. I'll be right back with that hose and everything. If I can. Okay. This might do it. Let's see if uh, we can coerce it. That looks like we're going to have to build up more air before we can get that to do her. But, uh,. Yeah, huh, I don't know, we're just gonna have to uh, hope that uh, it does, actually I might even, I might just drop that to uh, the deck a little bit, that way then it puts tension on this, this belt so it's not, uh, spinning with the uh, impact gun and the air compressor just kicked off so I know that it's up to pressure so let's put the deck down all right that should put tension on that belt should have but it don't look like it did yeah it didn't put any tension on that what the okay well I guess I'm gonna have to take one hand and hold it try it different nope we were up on the high. Air compressor is back on, so. Huh. Yeah, that ain't coming. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do about this situation, but I've gotta figure something out here um it feels like the belt has got a kind of a little bit of wear on it but where it jumped the uh that oh heck this is gonna be hell i think this is gonna be hell Hmm, air compressor just kicked back off. So, what are we going to do? Hmm, might have to get a breaker bar on it, but then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do to keep it from spinning. Since the blade idea didn't work, even that, if it were to have worked, I'd still have them blades spinning. Hmm, what's we gonna do? I hope like hell I'm not gonna have to pull the engine out of here. That's something I do not want to do. And that's overkill kind of situation. I don't know, man. This is not cool. It's not wanting to do what I want it to do. Hmm. And pretty sure they put Loctite on it too. Hell, I don't know. Now, well, let me get a game plan going and I'll turn back on and show you more here in a moment when I got that game plan going. Okay. Game plan. 
ratchet with a long pipe on it. And pipe wrench to hold that from spinning. At least that's what I'm hoping for. But let's see if that's about the right size. Uh, it goes smaller. Let's see if that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Now, what we'll do is we'll flip her over and throw her in like that. And let's see. After losing. Ouch. Okay. That would be tight, damn it. We want lefty loosey. Okay. Hopefully, I can get that to bite onto that pulley. Oh, man. Come on. Nope, it's not going to, huh? Eh, shit. Oh, man. Alright, come on. Get a good bite into it. Come on. Alright, now she's biting. Now, let's see if we can get her to go for me. Break loose, come on. Okay. My hell. Sure taking a lot of uh, torque to get that sucker off there. Well, let's get this uh, out of underneath here. <sighs> Should have brought some pliers with me. Or, or a uh, screwdriver or something uh, to get that uh, pin out of that. But uh, yeah, let's see. Oh. Let's see if we can get my fingers to do it. All right, we're gonna have to improvise. Since I got my drill bits right here. There we go. Oh, that's why. Duh. One of them. Them kind that you gotta. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> knew that was coming. Alright, now that that's out of the way, maybe I can get a little bit more on her to get that. Oh my hell. Am I breaking a ratchet? Is that... Is not even moving. That socket ain't even moving. You look at this hole right here. Hopefully you can see that hole. Yeah, this hole there. While well, I try to pull on this pipe. It's not moving, but the ratchet is. So that tells me the ratchet's flipped. I'd use the other word, but I don't think YouTube would like that very much. Uh, yeah, it's effed up. So, oh heck, what am I gonna do now? Well, give it uh, another shot with this uh, impact gun 
I'm just looking for the breaker bar, but I can't find the breaker bar. I wonder if it's out here in the shed or something. Who knows where it's at? It should be in the toolbox, but it's not. find the breaker bar it'd make it a lot easier but uh, I don't know where that is let me uh, go on a hunt for it and I just got a metal sliver that kind of hurt good thing I just got it out though all right I'll uh, bring you back when I figure out where that is or if I can find another option now, like I said, I'll be bring you back. All right, so here's what I've got. I uh, went in there into the garage and I looked around for a uh, breaker bar, but of course, can't find one. So I. Uh, Grabbed another ratchet. If I can get this socket onto this here. Well, I guess that was a bust. The uh, extension there. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can get her. That's not doing what we want it to do. Let's see if we can, I don't know, maybe it's a uh, reverse thread. I don't know. That doesn't make sense though. Let's see here. Of course, I'm gonna have to take this off. And put it on this side of this to do the ah. well let's see here I'm get in there now if I can get it to bite down on it. She's supposed to. Let's see if we can get it on that side like I had it on this other side here. Ooh. 
And of course, stupid things gotta try and screw around and irritate me. Yep. Come on, you dummy. Oh, come on. It just not one to play nice as uh, all there is to it. Well, well, if maybe if I was uh, thinking correctly, I would have had it on there right. Huh. Yeah. Maybe it'll work right now. <laughs> Does not want to go. Of course, because I'm going the other direction, and it's not gonna do what we want. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Even though I'm laying down on this uh, floor, my back is really angry with me because of me lifting this. Uh, this lawn tractor here and uh yeah <laughs> so excuse me i uh i'm just sitting uh, laying here trying to relax a teeny bit before i yeah anyhow let's see if uh we can figure something out here really need to take this out of here which that worked good huh I wish I knew if it was uh, left hand thread or right hand thread on this I guess I could go and uh, consult the manual but uh, that's the easy thing to do <laughs> it's the easy way you know that should be enough to uh, tension for that uh, belt to do that but nope it not Okay, well, let's try this way again. And I just noticed. It says, made in China. Well, of course. Everything's made in China nowadays. It'd be nice if some of it was made in Japan, where they actually give a damn about their products. Yeah. Well, that not good. It jumped. I didn't realize that, uh, dummy. <laughs> this here uh, is the only thing that holds that, other than that side over here has got a just shove through. <laughs> well, I'll be. Hmm. And of course, probably don't have the right size for it. Yep, I don't. I know it's probably not quarter inch, but we'll try it anyhow. Just so that we can be sure. Yep, I knew it. I knew that wasn't going to work. And I'm pretty certain that's the 
seven sixteen. I'm not gonna do her either. It's uh, too big. So, oh, God. all right. Things have just got to be a pain in my arse. I don't know why it's always got to be that way, but seems like it is always that way. Oh, anyhow, um, let's uh, show that direction. There's the uh, transmission down in there. Let's see, right there. That's the transmission. On top of there, those blades up there. Let me bring you down, maybe. I can block you from that light, maybe. Um, yeah, that's the cooler for the transmission. Um, and up in there. Uh, let's see, I can't even see up in there. Um, yeah, back in there is where your foot pedal would put tension on the uh, belt here to spin it one direction or the other direction. And of course, you got the creak of the door right there. Blowing closed. Anyway, um, yeah, looks like we're going to be trying something else on this let's zoom out come on man what's up with you all right uh, i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do that's just being such a pain to deal with okay well i'll bring you out bring you back when uh, I figure a way of getting that loose uh, and if I do get it loose while I'm not filming well we're just gonna have to be forgiven there um, but uh, anyhow let me uh, see what I can do I'll bring you back when I know a little bit more all right it seems to be moving um, didn't do much. Uh, let's see if I can get this set up right. See how this uh, washer is loose? Seems like she's moving now. Uh, I just got on her and just started just forcing it. I was going a little too gentle, I guess. I was worried about breaking the uh, ratchet or something you know that man it's really fighting the whole way though i'll tell you that much i still got the uh bar the pipe on there let's see here let me get a little closer with my body that way then i don't have to have my head up in the uh, and just lay my head down and do this oh. oh come on yeah ratchet's kind of not grabbing very well is it yeah well it grabbed that time how long they put how long this sucker is I wonder if it's the shaft that comes down all the way down to the bottom of that 
or if it's a bolt all the way up to the uh, up here and the top here we'll find out here in a minute hopefully there's a rod coming down the uh, down to the bottom here hopefully let's see where you're at see if you can still see me yep uh, hell. Let's see here. Sorry, just had to take a minute there for a couple seconds there. Uh, oh, man, they're still fighting. And so they're pretty much, I'm pretty sure there is some Loctite on that. It's got to have Loctite on there. It's the only way only reason why I'd be fighting me this whole way out would be, be because of that. Yeah, you can tell it's coming. Yep, sure is coming. Sure is coming. I just don't know how long that bolt is. And you know what? Maybe we can try the impact gun. See if that does it. Cause I'm pretty sure my well, yeah, let's try it. Since since we're all right, let's see. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That was wishful thinking. All right. But we've got the, uh, the power of air. Let's see if this... drop that that uh, pulley down by doing that the impact of that of the uh, impact gun caused that to drop down yep it sure has now yep, we'll continue to fight with it. Ah, the whole way out. Alright. Since we're gonna be uh, fighting her the whole way, I think I'm gonna just allow you to not have to go through that. Alright, let me hit the pause button for you guys and I'll bring you back when uh, I get this bolt out of there and I'll show you how long it is and see what's going on underneath all that stuff. If I can hit the pop. Got some good news now. Well, that answers it. It isn't, uh, his... Yeah. Well, don't look like it does have any Loctite on it. Ooh, those are warm. <laughs> of course they'd be warm. Now, let's see about getting this pipe wrench off of it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. 
we uh now have I got have I got something to do now? Oh my. It looks like I'm gonna have to uh pull this uh that there out so that I can drop the whole thing. Anyhow, well, we'll be back. I gotta go find me something to be able to do that with. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. I've got that, uh, this here, oh, guard deal off of there. Uh, and I put the, uh, bolt right back in where it goes because I don't want to lose it. Um, now let's see if we can get it to drop down. Let's see how long that shaft is coming out of that engine. Alright, that long. Okay. So, let's take a look at this belt. Wow. Oh my hell. That is not good. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I have a big enough belt. Um. We may have to go in and see our homeless deep death spot. Home Depot to see about getting another one for it. Oh man, I was a bear getting that off there. Oh my hell. That was a pain in the butt to get off there. Only a couple years old. But yeah. Right there. Marking of the beast. Made in China. Okay, what we're gonna do is probably pick our nose or something. No, <laughs> not really, but uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know how long it is. Um, we're just gonna have to see what what's going on with it um hopefully i don't need to take off the uh the um more deck to do that but yeah that belt don't look too good in fact it's pretty much cut in half i don't know how it jumped that. I really don't know how it jumped that. It had to have had like a stick go up in there and catch it, you know, and uh, jump it up over the, uh, up over the uh, lip here. So moan along, moan along. Stick comes up into there grabs it and pops it off I'm guessing that's what caused it and being that this is a uh, you know it's got so much torque coming out of that engine and the speed of that engine you add that all up and that's what probably happened exactly um, huh all right, well, I'm going to go and uh, see about this, uh, see uh, if I got another belt, um, see what we can do about it, see what's going on. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to figure out what we're going to do. We'll be right back. Well, it's done and getting dark on us. That uh, we had to go in to 
Home Depot. You get a belt. So, I'm pulling out this old friend. And I've got an extension cord right here that I use. That goes over to my motorhome. Um, but I haven't had it plugged in for a bit. Um, haven't needed to. I haven't been out there anyway. Uh, my battery is pretty good and charged in there. So I don't need to worry about that. And it looks like there's some crap up in my... my in my extension cord there. See if we can get that out of there. There we go. That's better. Now, see if I can... Oh, heck, I don't know how I'm going to do this. See if we can do it that way. Hold it by my arm while I'm trying to plug that in there. Well, I guess I can't show you me plugging it in, but rest assured, it's plugged in. Okay, so I've got to lay right here because I've got a uh, pulley that I had to take off to get this, uh, the belt out of there. So let's uh, go ahead and, well, let's see what we've got here real quick while we're here. <clears throat> Alright, come in here, and, uh, let's see here. Oh, hell, uh, 95.5. Um, the one that come off of it was a little bit shorter. But, um, uh, we'll try it. Uh, it says here, uh, models, but I don't see any Cup Cadet. Oh, however, it says Cup Cadet right there. But I don't see the Cup Cadet models. All I see is... AYP, Husqvarna, and Craftsman. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Eh, I'm not worried about it anyway. Let's see. Let's take that off of there. And of course they have to have these things on here. Well, have to see how I'm going to get that. Oh, cut to remove. Eh, what if I decide to do it the other way? <laughs> right. Whatever. Anyhow, um, we're going to try and figure this out. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Um when I get a game plan going and we'll continue on with our video here be right back with you okay let's see hopefully that's good enough for you guys to see and hopefully I don't get in the way but eh, let's see I don't even know where my Needle nose pliers went and all that. Oh, heck. Let's see. I need those needle nose pliers to help me with that spring. Uh, give me a moment and I'll be down there to start working as soon as I find that. Um. I should have looked for them before I hit record, huh? Oh, 
They're already down there, dummy. Come on. All right. Now, we hope that this machine does not decide to smash me. Wouldn't be the first time I've been smashed by a, a vehicle of sorts. Uh, in fact, uh, I had an old Grand Prix, 91 Grand Prix, and I had it jacked up once. I was underneath it, I don't remember exactly why, but the jack, uh, it was a little bit, uh, I guess it was a little muddy or something that day, I don't know what it was, but the jack felled on me, and it... Uh, the car came down on top of me and uh, I didn't get anything broken or anything I was perfectly fine but uh, yeah eh, don't want that to happen again though I was a little bit sore I'll tell you that though uh, let's see Get the belt off of there get it on the transmission which I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see uh, this is going to be a pain for me let me uh, see if I can get you up here okay let's see here um yeah that right there is the transmission. Uh, that's the, the pulley that we're trying to get onto right there. Um, anyhow, uh, yeah. So, I don't think there's anywhere I can put this phone to be able to see that. And I don't think so. I don't think I can. Well, wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> Sorry, but we're going to have to uh, just show you when I get it done, I guess. I'll be right back when I get that belt on around that pulley. Okay, we're just going to hope like hell I get got you in left. Good spot. Um, I don't know if you are or not. Um, hopefully you are. But I got that. Yeah, shit, I guess I'm going to have to get up and out of here to make sure. Um, I want to see whether or not that is going to work. Um, this spring here goes to the deck. I just want it out of my way. While I'm doing this. Uh, it smells like someone's burning leaves. Yeah. One of those smells. <laughs> well... Let me see where you're looking. Hopefully you're looking at the right area. Oh, God. Oh. Let's see where you're looking. Oh. Okay, yeah. Looks like you're looking at the right spot. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, man. Well, I guess it's more like maybe a campfire smell. I'm smelling kind of distinct kind of smell. Okay, let's see. Oh man. All right, let's see about it. All right, I've got everything I need under there. Let me uh, out. <coughs> Man, things hurt when you kneel on them. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, 
let's get on there here. Oof. Oh. Hello. Let's see you meeting you here. Oh. Let's see. That must have come out of there. Let's see. Yeah, that's got to probably be. Yep, that's exactly what that is. All right, cool. And that's what stands off of the, uh, off of that. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now we need to figure out just how all this kind of works together. When I was tearing it apart, I was just trying to get it out of here. I wasn't really paying attention too much. Okay, now this here part. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of crap on that. Let's see, uh, not. Where is that bolt? I thought it was over by my head. But, is it here? There it is. Oh, all right. Um, and pulley. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Just go in where you're supposed to. Okay, which... Let's see. Um... Um... Hmm. I'm wondering if this side actually come around here like so and it, yeah I think it did that's how okay then that's tension down like that and then this side just free all right and if it's not then well I'm guessing we'll find out how sooner or later oh sh this is not going to be easy for me to get in here and where the hell is the boat okay now i'll tell you what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is get the bushing up here first and the uh, carriage here, up here first, get that bolt in there, while you get all the crap in your face, which really sucks, oh man, and then get your bushing in there, there's the bushing, Now, <sighs> where is the pulley now? Damn it. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. Where the hell did you go now? It always happens like that, too. Right when you're ready for it, you can't find it. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. Oh man, I 
can't see it. And of course, I'm probably gonna have to climb out of underneath here to look for it. Uh. Of course, my chair. All right, where'd you go? Um, it's not on the ground. Where the hell did I put it? Come on now. Why in the hell does things gotta happen like that? I don't understand it. That's just the way life is. <sighs> I don't know. I do not see it down here anywhere. And you've probably seen where it went. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. <laughs> Makes it kind of hard. Especially when uh, your back is killing you and that's all you want to do is get it done. But yeah, you gotta have this. Uh, yeah, sh sure could see the uh, spike in uh, when the air compressor kicked on. <laughs> you can tell it's on the same circuit. Oh. Guess where it was? Right by my side. Ain't that a bitch? There's a lot of crap on this. Holy. Alright. I found her. I found her. Now we gotta decide which side we're gonna put down and which side we're gonna put up. Yep, this side's gonna be up. Alright. And the problem I'm gonna have now is getting the belt where it's supposed to be in relation to the pulley and all that plus not to mention you gotta deal with the uh, um, tension or the tensioner you know the spring let's see here okay where'd the pulley go now there it is all right, now let's see if we can get her in here, right where it's supposed to be. Mm. Okay, so that goes in and then it sits down in on that bushing. So, let's see if we can do her. Go in where you're supposed to. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Be nice. Of course, you probably can't see a damn thing I'm doing. Sorry. This is not being nice at all. I can't see what I'm doing anyway. Let's see if we can get up here. Ah, uh, of course, I don't know if I can keep you up there. Or even if you're looking at the right area. But we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, we want to go on the other side of this belt. Oh, 
you drop. Sorry. Um. Let me see here. Get you set back there. I don't know. Hopefully that's a good spot. Um. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Hopefully that's a good spot for you. I don't know because I can't see the screen and there's no way for me to see that screen. Um, and I'm probably hiding the, your view anyway. And you fell on the ground. So, I tried. I tried. This is my view. <laughs> this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay. That's, uh... Ooh, that's warm. That, uh, that light there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this right. Maybe that will do. Hopefully. I don't know because I'm not in an area where I can view that. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, now I drop down. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't be a pain in the ass. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I might have to just put it together down here and then put it up. Get that belt in there and then pull. See that, and we gotta have this inside of there. Wait a minute, is there one up on top? No, there's not. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this bushing. over which connects with that okay that's how that's supposed to be or at least that's what I interpret it should be okay so now pull that in like so and there, and we need the bolt. And, uh, let's see here. Okay, I need to position it right where it Go through that pulley and bushing and all that. Oh, come on, dude. Way off. They gotta make it such a pain to do it. Mm. Ooh, maybe, maybe, yep, I got her. Thank God. Whew. Thank God for that. Now, where's the nut? Uh, there's the washer, but where's the nut? Where's the damn nut? 
And of course, ah, ouch, hair got stuck into the ah, spring. Ow. Oh. That's why I've got the hat on. The damn hat keeps on falling off though. Okay. Now that spring goes back here. And we'll take care of that here when I uh, get to that point. And I just pulled out the, uh, what it hangs off of. And of course. Let's see, where the hell did that nut go? Damn it. Why am I always losing stuff? Huh, right there. Wouldn't have been where I could see it anyway. All right, now to put it on blindly. This is gonna suck. Okay, I already know it's gonna suck. All right, let's get the washer on first. All right. Actually, that one went on there pretty easy. All right, now the nut. Let's see if we can get it to go. If I can get it started, I can at least get on it with the impact gun and do the rest of the way with the impact gun but if i get threaded of course which good luck with that um i might have just got it woohoo glad i thought of that part <laughs> now let us grab, well, we'll need this uh, wrench, but I need to grab one. Oh, I already put it down here. Good. Perfect. Now, let's get this on here. Let's see what time have we got. 9-11. Okay, so we're getting a little later in the evening so I gotta be a little bit more quieter but yeah and don't play kill you're not gonna drop something because you're gonna have a bunch of crap in your face that's what that was <laughs> man a lot of stuff was coming down on me on my face all right come on give me that wretch back thank you now give it to me really oh come on you stupid son of a... Come on. What in the hell is up with that? There we go. Gotta be smarter than it. Alright, let's see. Now, we need to put this guy back in where it goes. And of course, I cannot see where it went. Because I can't see because I got a damn halogen light in my eyes. Um, let's see. Maybe that one? I think it was. Alright. Now I need the needle nose pliers. Wow. Like how I can get this with 
without getting injured or something. Oh, damn, that's a lot of tension. Not as much as the one up there, though. The one up there is a lot bigger of a spring. But either way, still. Any, any of that. And then when it jumps away from me, oh, come on. Man, why is it got to be such a pain? Now, this way you'll be able to see it. Oh, come on. Close. That was close. Man, was that close. Almost had it on there. Damn, I don't know. Why it's got to be such a pain in the arse. fun at all, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna go back to the way I was. That way then, because I was only doing that just to sh for show, and also because that one back there was kind of running away from me. But, now it looks like I might just have to just do that one anyway. <sighs> Damn thing keeps running away from me. <sighs> Starting to irritate me. SOB. Why has it got to be such a pain to do springs? God, why does it have to be such a pain? Oh. Well, I may need to come, go and get me some help on holding that, that ring from uh, getting uh, moved while I try to get that on there. But, anyhow, uh, yeah. Let me show you what I, where I'm looking. I'm hooking to this, this uh, ring here. And see how it moves around. Makes it to where that. Putting that. The spring. Onto that. Not easy. Oh hell. I don't know why. But then this other side. You try to get this side done. You can't get it the right direction. So damned if you do. And damned if you don't kind of situation but I don't know um I'm gonna try another way let me uh put this back down here oh hopefully uh you're in this shot and you can see what's going on I'm gonna try it this way Hopefully it doesn't 
pinch or hurt me in any other kind of manner. Come on! Ugh. You little... Ah. Man. Not such a big spring, but geez. When you load the spring like that, it's got some tension behind her. And that's what's tensioning the uh, belts so that the belts don't slip. But anyhow, uh, um, uh, and I've sorry that uh, you're having to deal with long video of me trying to get uh, something that doesn't want to there we go it didn't want to go go <laughs> all right it's gone it's done all right hopefully hopefully that well that uh, might be too long. I think it might be too long. Yeah, I think this is too long. Because, uh, yeah, that belt is... Um... Way too long. Because if uh, that top pulley goes on, you're still too big. Oh. Ah, damn it. Yep, too, too uh, loose, I think. Way too loose. <laughs> yeah, I think that's way too loose. The only way to know, really, is, uh, well, I guess I could do that. Pop on the uh, this pulley and not put the deck back on just yet, and just uh, see if it'll move under its own power. So, and that'll tell me whether or not this is gonna work. If not, we're gonna have to order a belt because Home Deeper and Debt don't have that. Come on, go in there. Just go right up in there. And of course, I'm dealing with the bolt. And you probably can't see that. All right. Okay. Grab the impact gun. And like I said, you probably can't see all this. course here in a sec you will oh, after I grab the camera oh, okay so yeah see how much slack there is I don't believe there should be that much on it but Anyhow, let us see. Flipper around that chair up like that. And 
maybe, just maybe, you might be where you can see. thing I can say is we can try it see what happens I don't think it's gonna do any bit of good I do not think it will move but <coughs> who knows who knows I don't even know if you're looking at what I was doing that uh, looks like maybe you were. Um, yeah. I don't know. I really don't. Let's engage our transmission. It's gonna do any good. Let me uh, let me give you a pause, and we'll see what's going on with her. Uh, uh, really don't wanna. Really don't wanna be. Uh, doing this at this late at night honestly but the only way I'm gonna find out whether or not it works oh heck well I guess this at least now I can just push it off of those because it's uh you know not too too far you know there's not much overhang it's going to harm anything if I just pushed it off there. I just got to get it off this jack. And yes, I understand that just having that jack holding it up is kind of dangerous. But you don't understand. I don't have any jack, jack stands or anything. You got to do, do with what you got. And if I could see the that let me uh go and turn on your light so i can also see with that oh and just as i said that it says unable to use flash battery power low oh well guess that's not gonna work i'll be right back at you okay i've got the transmission locked in it shouldn't be moving but it is We'll start her up, and I already know, but I'll show you. Uh-oh, I got a problem. The brake ain't working now. Okay, that's odd. It was working a minute ago when I just tested it. I don't know. Damn it, what happened to it now? Well, I'll just leave it at that, I guess. Can't test it for you and show you. Oh, well, shit happens, I guess. Um, anyway, this uh, shed here is... Uh, built by someone uh, holding the camera yep I built it a couple years back I built this shed my dad was looking at sheds and wanting one and uh, well I actually said hey I can build one way better than 
tough shed and all that crap that, you know. And, of course, I did. It's, it's a sturdy one. I mean, it was built more like a house than, than a shed. Those tough sheds are really, really chintzy. They're, in fact, I've got, I've got, uh, shed over here that I mean this shed right here let me uh, sit down this light uh oh well maybe not <laughs> there we go stepped on the plug move this sheet in fact that sheet was part of the siding of that shed that I built let me uh, grab a key and I'll show you how crappy built this thing is. Um, I can get the key in with one hand. Uh, Alright, there we go. Yeah. Look at the crappy craftsmanship. I mean, that is horrible. Horrible. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of crap in here. Yeah, that thing right there, worth some money. So we won't show that very much. <laughs> that thing, uh, you can't find them. You can't find those things. So that's kind of why it's locked in a shed. Yeah. I uh, I built it and I wired it. This shed. It's got a plug over there, switch for the fluorescent light. Um, yeah, and this, the Dremel, I had it earlier I was uh, cleaning up that pipe to slip over that ratchet underneath my broom there um, anyhow my uh, battery is getting low but uh, yeah there's back here I've got a 30 amp RV plug and a regular plug for the outside but uh yeah 30 amp for for the fifth wheel and uh yeah that's why i had to wire in that that's what this orange 10 3 is that's what that is it's 10 3 wire 10 gauge three conductors and uh that's not including the ground three conductors one ground anyway well battery's getting low and i'm done i'm just gonna push this into the shed and let it chill for the night and uh then we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do with it we'll regroup uh, we'll order in a belt and uh see what we can do from there we'll talk at you later and you guys have a wonderful one and uh hopefully things go good for you and uh better than for me <laughs> um but anyway all right we'll uh talk at you hopefully soon bye